Hey guys, welcome back, and I am super excited to show you what I've been working on for well over a year. This has been an extremely long journey for me, and I'm just super excited to put it out there and see what happens. So here it is. For over a year, I have been working and developing a product, and I'm ready to show it to you now. Here it is. This is a TRD. That stands for Tactical Rope Dispenser. Basically what it is, it holds 50 feet of 550 pound paracord on the inside, and then you can deploy it smoothly and tangle free. And then it has a built-in cutting blade at the top to quickly and easily cut cord when you need it. This product was designed uh, so that you could wear it on your belt, and while you wear it on your belt, you can use it one-handed. Let me show you. So if it's attached to your belt like this, you can pull cord out as much as you need and then cut it fast and easy. That's really incredible because uh, right now it's very difficult to cut cord or even dispense cord or get to cord one-handed. You don't have to secure it to your belt. It's easily used uh, just in your hand. Uh, quick cuts out of your hand if you don't want to carry it on your hip. Um, also perfect for a backpack. If you have a bug out bag or a bug in bag or day pack, whatever you want to call it, this is a perfect item to add to your bag and just keep it in there. The main thing is, is that it's there when you need it and it's gonna work. It's gonna deliver cord fast and easy. And you'll be able to cut it without additional tools. If you don't have a knife or scissors, you can't cut this rope because it's so strong. Now you're saying, why do I need to carry paracord? Paracord is the most recommended cord to carry in a bug out bag, survival situation, make sure you have it in a vehicle, a, um, in your toolbox, wherever you go, you should have paracord with you. If you got this, you can pull out exactly what you need. You don't need to use too much and you don't have to undo a whole bundle. If you're already carrying paracord, if you have a traditional hank or bundle of paracord already, let me show you why the tactical rope dispenser is so important. A bundle like this takes time to unhank and to properly lay out so that it's usable. For the average person, they're gonna open this hank and start pulling, right? Even if you take time to lay it out properly, if you just start pulling, here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna get knotted. It's gonna get knotted real bad. Even before I pull on it more, this could take five minutes to untangle. Let's say it gets worse, 10 minutes. In a survival or emergency situation, there isn't time to untangle cord. That's why the tactical rope dispenser is so important. You have usable cord tangle free at your fingertips whenever you need it. And if you don't need as much, you're done. With the bundle, let's say I only needed 15 feet. Well now I've got a knot that I have to untangle and I only need a few more feet of cord to get my 15 feet. And then I have to repackage it or rebundle it or just shove it down in my backpack and deal with it later. This all amounts to time and energy. You don't want to waste extra time or energy to use cord. You don't need to go outdoors to utilize this. This is great for even around the house or in your toolbox. All right guys, well this is the end of my pitch. Um, I know I sound serious right now. I have so much invested in this, so much time, over a year's worth of work, and uh, I mean, I have personally made all of these so far so you're supporting me you're supporting my family and you'll be supporting american workers please do me a favor click the link in the description below that goes to my family's website atwoodrope.com check the product out uh, please share it if you can get this out there this would be a perfect gift uh, for the christmas season for any outdoor enthusiast any hunter hiker camper backpacker this even works really well uh, in water environments so if you have kayaks, canoes, uh, that sort of sport and hobby, this is the perfect accessory. Uh, please go check it out. Link's in the description. Thank you so much. And now, because I promised my kid, he wants to spray paint one gold. So that's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> this is something else cool that you can do with this. You can pull out how much you want, toss it over a branch, and then you can hang your backpack or an item. Got it hung, I'm gonna spray it. I'm actually gonna move the four-wheeler. It's really windy. I don't want that gold overspray getting on my quad. So I'm gonna back that up now. All right, here we go. Let's make sure we got some gold fleck in here. That's cool. 
don't want to just spray it because then it'll run and look terrible. You want to step back just so that the mist hits it really good when you're spray painting. I don't know why, but he wanted to paint that gold so much. So here it is, the golden tactical rope dispenser, the golden belt clip. All right, well, I'm gonna let this hang dry. Got my paracord cuts so I don't ruin my mower. Oh man, that's really on there. This is actually a really cool feature of the TRD. You can also use it to cut stuff not just coming out of the unit, but if you have this cord here, you can easily cut it. Just like that. And it also cut fabric, netting, like all sorts of stuff. Like if you have to cut a part of your clothes off to make a bandage or something. It's already dry. That's sweet. The golden TRD. Da 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 da. It's the first say. ever gold TRD. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it'll be black. I've got so many dead trees. Look at this. So dead. Oh, that one's the same way. But you don't want to push on dead trees like this in case they break right there and then the whole top comes down on top of you. So it is oddly sunny out today, which is okay by me. Uh, I'm gonna check the temperature of the pool. My watch has a thermometer on it, so I'm gonna take it off and put it in. All right, we'll come back. We'll check on this in a minute. That water is cold. If I had to guess, I'd say the water's probably about 66. I mean, it's not the coldest water I ever felt. I'm thinking about jumping in. I've never done a polar plunge uh, where you jump in the water when it's freezing cold, when you have to like jump through the ice, but maybe this year's the year. Oh, it fell down a step. Let's see where we're at. Oh, it's cold. I don't know if you can see it, but it says 63.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've, I've put some swim trunks on. I've seen on videos where really powerful, really successful, like over the top successful people do like a five to 10 minute super cold uh, bath or polar plunge or some sort of cold water therapy right when they wake up in the morning. This is hardly morning, but the water's still really cold. Never used one of these before, but I got a space blanket. They're supposed to make you super warm, so after I get freezing cold, I'm gonna try a space blanket out for the first time. I really shouldn't, but I'm gonna do the classical touch your toe in the water first. <laughs> it's really cold. All right, no more delaying, here we go. Oh my gosh, it's worse on my armpits and up in my arms. Let's go under. It's really cold. It's like, it feels like it's numbing the skin. But those leaves aren't gonna clean themselves. I gotta get back in there. Here we go. For king of country. freezing when I use this space blanket to see how well it really works. All right guys, that's a successful mission right there. Hopefully more aware. My body's more aware of where I'm at, but I don't know if I feel more successful yet. I think I need more time in the freezing cold water. Woo! I'm super cold. I'm getting the space blanket out. Oh yeah, it's cozy too. Nice and quiet. All right, you just wrap up in it. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. I still feel cold. I'm gonna breathe in it to try to get some heat going. I think this is a prank space blanket because I don't feel like I'm getting any warmer. Am I doing something wrong? Do you have to like, do you have to rub it for friction? I think at this point, it's just blocking the sunlight from hitting me and it's actually keeping me colder. Well, in other people's defense, I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty good. That cold water's like refreshed, revitalized. 
rejuvenated my brain, like kicked it into survival mode, which has ramped up all my senses. I feel like I could climb a mountain. All right, I'm gonna put some dry clothes on. All right guys, well we're going out. Uh, the kids need haircuts. I've got scuba tanks that I've dropped off like a month and a half ago that need picked up. Um, and we're probably gonna get some dinner. Let's go. Slacker Atwood. What a coincidence that I have a TRD on me. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Bam. Fast and easy. Now I'm done. Well, you look fantastic, Dale. Is anyone hungry? No? You want to yeah. just go home? Just go home and get candy. Maybe I can make a candy rope dispenser. Yeah. All right, well, I got my next project, I guess. As of right this second, no one knows what they want to eat, but we're trying to find a place to eat. I know. What do you want to eat? Longhorn. Longhorn. Longhorn Steakhouse. Yep. And the kids just want candy, so we're kind of at like a tipping point between candy or actual food. Well, there's always Tokyo Steakhouse. Tokyo Steakhouse. <laughs> do they have yum yum? Ah, see, someone always asks. Probably not. I bet they do. They probably do. Thanks to your guys' comments, I saw that everyone Toys carries Yum Yum. Toys R Us, they don't have food. There's no dinner at Toys R Us. I want Toys R Us. What would you eat there? Toys. Arrived. I know we're going backwards right now, but we have arrived to our destination. Food vlog. Look what I got. Cheeseburger. Look what I got. Fries. The barbecue sauce. Connor, what do you got? Shrimp? Thank you. Connor, you are. You're gonna grow up to be so strong eating like that. I ordered some oranges. Salad. Mm. Just like that, we went from starved to stuffed. But you game stop. All right, let's do it. Walk there is right in front of us. Yeah, we can walk over. Yeah, walk over. Walk off some of this dinner. It's open. All right, so let's hit it. Um, oh, this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> found right? Him. What? That one? This is the that guy. That guy's cool. Look at him. For a very, very, very long time. So they have stirred up a storm. It's buy two, get three free. So we get to pick all kinds of new characters. You guys got everything sorted out over here? Yep. <laughs> all right, so we just hit the Skylander. The used Skylander shelf hard. It was buy two, get three free. So, let me say we have five new Skylanders. Dale, you happy? Bing. Bang. <laughs> yeah, we went in there for one Skylander and buy two, get three free. How can you argue? You can't argue with that. You cannot argue with that. Guys, just getting back and there was a package on my door and it looks like my new speakers have arrived. I didn't have any speakers for this. That thing is massive. Well, I guess it's better than when you order something and you get it and you're like, wow, that's smaller than normal. Or, geez, it looks so much bigger in the picture. Plug them in. Here we go. Now, what to test them out with. Here we go. Powerful. That's half base. Something about that music just gets them pumped up, huh? Okay guys, that's all I got for you today. Please click the link in the description to check out my new product. Uh, again, I'm not selling someone else's product. This is my product that I'm selling. Please go check it out, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.